Hello, today I'm here to show you the Suncast Hose Hideaway. This is an awesome little piece of yard equipment to have because you know how it is when you need to use the hose and you pull it all out and then you're spending time trying to wind it back up or maybe you have some type of hose reel and it's always getting stuck. I have never had an issue with this. I've had this thing for years, like four or five years, and it is awesome, okay? So there's a few things. I, one of the pros of me having it for so long is that I'm able to show you how long it lasts and how well it works even after having it for several years. But there's some things I can't quite remember what came with it and what didn't. Um, let me just show you here in the inside. It does come with this hose. This is a hundred foot of hose and that's what this hose hideaway is meant to hold. It came with this hose. It might have come with a sprayer on the end. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. Uh, but if not, you can pick one up for just a few dollars and add it. Okay, also you see where it connects? So people wonder how this works, right? You just put a shorter hose and it does come with one, but I lost that one. And so I found this one and I, uh, I actually, I can't, I honestly can't remember if it came. I just remember I used to have a different one. I lost it and now I have this one. So this hose, you just put, you screw it in right here. And I like a shorter one because then when you have it up close to the house like this, see how it's nice and out of the way. So see, there you go. It's nice and out of the way. Uh, you can go about your yard work and it's never a problem. And then you just have that little short hose there, okay? But the beauty of this thing is how it works. So let me show you. Now, some people will tell you that the hose, that the thing will move or the hose will get stuck. It won't, you just have to know how to use it correctly. One thing I do wanna show you though, is that you have a spot to hold it with your foot here. So if you're cranking it back in and you're noticing that maybe you're not on level ground, you can hold it down with your foot and that's kind of a nice little feature. But basically, if you keep the hose coming out of the middle, you're not gonna have a problem. Let's just walk and I'll show you. I can just pull this thing out. Still going, still going. Nice and smooth. Box still in the same spot. I mean, look at this. I've walked almost all the way to, to, across my yard. I have a pretty big yard, so that's good. So let's take a shot of the box, still there, not falling. Look at that, still working. You see the handle turning as I'm pulling. I'm at the end, so it started to tip just a little bit because I'm at the end, okay? So that's just so convenient to be able to, I have a fire pit here. I like to bring the hose out here just in case because a person can't be too safe when it comes to fire, right? So this is why I have it here so I can pull it out and put the fire out if I need to. But you could use it for sprinklers or gardening or whatever. So we're just gonna leave the hose here, go back to the box, and let me show you how it winds back in. We'll just take a little walk. And again, the key to making this work is you keep the hose going into the middle of the opening and there will be no problems. So we see, I almost got to the end of the hose here so we almost went 100 feet. We probably went about 80 feet. It looks like there's about 20 feet left. We keep the hose in the middle of the box. This is where you might want to just put your foot here because it gives you a little bit of balance and it makes it a little bit easier. And I'm just gonna turn the handle and I know I would turn it so that you could see me, but if I do that, then the hose will get stuck because it needs to be going in the middle. So here we go with the handle. Really easy to use rubbing on my pants. <laughs> I'm going to start getting some mud there on my pants. You can give it a little bit of bracing with your hand if you want to, just to keep it going in a spot so that you uh, can fit the whole hose. Because let me show you, like, you see how I'm getting a little bit much on this side? I probably need a little bit over here. You kind of want to watch that because if it bunches all up in one side, then your lid won't shut. But if you keep it spread across your roller, it's good. So I'm just going to put a little bit over there coming back and look at that back up against the house done right so that's really cool that you can just pull the hose out put it right back in and it keeps it all nice and neat so now we're actually going to turn it on because we haven't done that yet so let me show you how that is all right so come look at this while I turn it on let me turn it so you can see one of the things that some people wonder is well does it leak when you turn it on no turn it on Water's already coming out, nice and tight seal right here. There's no water spraying or anything. So we're good. You hear it's got air in the hose because I rolled up so much of it. There we go. Nice good stream of water. And clean the mud off my hands from being out here in the yard. So great little piece of equipment. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water off because we don't want to waste that. 
but it just makes working with hoses so much easier. So if you're gardening, washing your car, whatever it is that you're doing with your hose on a regular basis, um, this thing is awesome because it just keeps it out of the way and keeps it nice and neat. It's really annoying to have rolls of hose, especially a hundred feet, like a hundred feet, that's, that's pretty significant. You don't want that all wadded up on the side of your house. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll it back in. There we are, it's all the way inside. And then check this out. You're done gardening. Whew. Take a load off and take a break on your little hose hideaway. So great thing to have around the garden. If you're looking for a good way to keep your hose nice and organized, keep your yard looking neat and still have water where you need it, when you need it, I highly recommend the Suncast 100 foot hose hideaway. Thanks for watching and good luck.